Stick on my feet. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Well done, brother Bunkin. Oh, it's not that, Rector. You just reminded me where I left my hat last night. carry on cruising and I got a part as a barman uh, for 35 pound a week I think I don't know. <laughs> no it doesn't matter uh, I got a part as a barman which I was very grateful for and something happened with Charles Hawtrey at the time um, they had an argument of some sort I don't know what it was but anyway Charles Hawtrey wasn't in the film so they upgraded me suddenly from barman to chef excuse, excuse me excuse me I wonder if you could direct me to the kitchen I'm new, you see. I'm sorry to interrupt you and all that, but I've been all over the boat. Ship. Well, oh, ship boat, who cares, as long as it floats. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Well, make a wild guess. <laughs> For what I'm thinking, I could be struck off. <laughs> Breathing very well. In. Out. In. Out. In. Oh, stop it, Arthur. Ben. Be professional. <laughs> the pulse. Of course, the pulse. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fingers and thumbs today. <laughs> oh dear, I want to go straight to the heart of the matter. Bolt, 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 cha cha cha. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's it. Mm. Ah. Police, madam. Mm. <laughs> I must have a witness. The BMA will never believe this. Ah. Oh. 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 What are you doing? I was just resuscitating you. Oh. Please. No, you don't understand. Don't I? No, it was just a doctor's dilemma. I was on the ceiling. What am I doing here? Let go. The ceiling. Delirious. Well, get back on the ceiling if you want to. There's a nice ceiling, a special ceiling you can lie down on. He's bonkers. Yes. <laughs> that is a nice ceiling. Oh, it's yeah. a beautiful ceiling. Get on it like a good girl. Come along. <laughs> Quite safe. You won't fall off. Look, you see? There. Come on, then. Now, you uh, relax and yeah. tell me all about it. Yes, I might just as well get it all straight. Well, I was just checking on your heart, you see. I have my head here like that, you see. And then suddenly your arm came up like that. And then the other one came up like that. Oh, Lord, he's at it again. Well, right, we'll visit Dr. Bin next. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kept squeezing and squeezing. You couldn't let go. I asked you to, oh! and suddenly you squeeze it. Oh! And that was... Oh, yes, but not, not a good moment for your inspection, sir. The doctor is treating a lady. What's he treating her to? Oh! 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 Uh, do you know Miss Castle, Captain? Not as well as you do, Doctor. The most important member of the cast was the title Carry On. I would not let anybody go above it. The trade press at the time said there's another Carry On being made, and if it didn't have Charlie Hawtrey in it, it wouldn't be worth seeing. Or words to that effect, and of course, this went to Charlie's head a bit. And he not only, through his agent, asked for a lot more money, but he wanted to be the star, and a star, believe it or not, on his dressing room door. I became rather silly, so I said, no, we won't use him. On the other hand, I'm not a young man. Well, as long as you're young at heart. <laughs> what are you talking about? You see, there you go again, flying off at a tangent. Couch. <clears throat> Couch, not crouch, you fool. Bella Marie. Bella Marie, please come to me. How can words explain to you the love I try to give? You're the sun, the wind, the rain. The reason I must live only for you. Oh, please love me too. Oh, Bella Flo. Oh, Bella Flo. I need you so. Please let's have a I love you so Oh Bella Flo My Bella Flo 
I love you so. Please don't say no. Please don't say no. Please don't say no.